Hey everyone, welcome again to another session of MVD. My name is Erskine Curry, and I'm here to give you another mental vitamin and devotion for this week. I'm excited for this one as well. So let's get straight to it. So in this scripture, we want to talk about faith in action. My wife did something was called love in action, which was an amazing teaching, y'all. Like if you haven't heard it yet, I think you should get it. And you'll probably be able to see a link to it on this video, but check out that video that she did it was called love in action. It speaks a lot to all of us that are actually needing to know how, what it means to have love in action. But today I want to talk about faith in action. Now, huh? Faith in action. So James 2, 22 to 23 says this, and this is the NLT version, just for those who don't read the Bible as much. So it says, you see his faith and his actions work together. His actions made his faith complete. And so it happened just as the scriptures say, Abraham believed God and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. He was even called the friend of God. Now, let me break this down for you for this mental vitamin today. You see that in the book of James, Abraham was mentioned as a reference of understanding what it means to walk in faith. And he said, you see his faith and his actions work together. James gave us something that is most profound, that if you're not thinking about it with common sense, it'll blow by your ears or your eyes. He said his faith and his actions work together. Look, we can't have faith, y'all, with nothing, no actions. And we cannot have actions of things with no faith. Listen, if you have actions with things with no faith, you're using your own strength. Now, if you turn it around and you have faith with actions, the faith is in God. The action is on us. How is that? How is that taken care of? Let me explain. So when Abraham, when Abraham was told by God, bring your bring Isaac as a sacrifice right? There was something so amazing in that, in, that, in that word, in that story. He said, bring your son as a sacrifice. Sacrifice your only son. Sacrifice your only son. Sacrifice your only son. And I'm saying that three times for a reason. Sacrifice your only son. Why did he say that? It's because God already knew that it wasn't really his son that he wanted to sacrifice. It was the action of Abraham that God was looking at. So the action that Abraham said, okay, I would do that. He got his son. He got his son, but this is what he told his son. <laughs> this is good. See, God told Abraham, bring me your son. But when the son asked Abraham, where is the sacrifice? Abraham said, God will provide. <laughs> Did you catch that? Listen, God wanted the son but Abraham believed that his son wasn't really going to be sacrificed because he really spoke it. See, he spoke into existence that which he did not see because the only thing he saw was he had to bring his son, but he didn't see it was his actions that God was looking into to be able to provide to him the actual sacrifice and not his son. See, what are we literally doing for God when he calls us to do it? Are we literally giving up something and saying, I'm going to give this up to you, Lord, knowing that it's really not that is what he wants. It's really it's you that he wants. It's your actions that he wants. It's your obedience to hearing his voice is what he wants. It's not what so much that you have that he wants. Ah, ah. it works together, y'all. And it says his actions made him made his faith complete. This only time our faith is complete is when an action is attached, working together with it. If you have faith with no works, your faith is not complete. The father of faith proved that, Abraham, he proved that by showing if you do something with faith attached to it, great things come out of it. So I want to speak this word and encouragement to you guys in your lives. May God bless you. May God increase your faith. And also may he gives you the instructions and that you walk in those instructions that your faith will be made complete. And what it is that you're asking from the Lord, you will receive it today. God bless you and we'll see you on the next MVD.